Hey, what is going on, guys? Today, my Patreon has showed me uh, a nice example of how people will complain about their election being rigged or not, or wanting to suspend democracy for a given leader or not. By the way, this is not actually my opinion on any particular matter, but it's nice to see it happen just on a Patreon level, right? He goes, oh, what happened? What happened? Let me explain. All, a lot of times I run polls, right, for shows, and a lot of times I make executive decisions, and a lot of times I also will just talk to people in, like, the Discord, the Patreon side of Discord, and as a committee, so to speak, right, we'll come up with a decision that impacts everybody. And in all three cases, I get push, pushback. When I make a decision, I get pushback. That's fine, because that makes sense. One man deciding everything for us, that, is, that doesn't make sense. I'm like, okay. So people will argue, even though, like, in my opinion, I know what's best, right? I'm looking at the analytics. Y'all are not looking at the analytics. Y'all are just picking what you privately like, which may not translate well for the wider audience. But that's fine. You are free to think that way. That's the point of this video. Then we have a committee. Now, I, I have the Discord committee because what it acts as, it's a, it's a smaller group of people. And um, instead of me spreading thin, talking to this person who doesn't even respond to the comment, this is a small group of people that kind of represent Patreon, Right? And if these people say things, then it most likely will represent the broader view on Patreon. Now, I will admit with you guys, I found that I was wrong on that because I read comments. Yes, people say, Lee, stop reading the comments because it's very stressful. But I learned so much about you guys and I love, 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 love human psychology. If I go back to school, I'm going to be a psychiatrist. Anyways. I found out that this Discord group is not an accurate representation of my overall community because the Discord group, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, uh, thrives in degeneracy, right? <laughs> and I'm not going to act like I'm above it. The things that they like are interesting to me too. So that's that. Let's, I'm no better. But the point is, I realized that I, I'm, 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 I'm not getting the full... Uh, representation. So I came back to a polling system, which actually confirmed exactly what I was talking about because the shows that are winning on the poll is not what that Discord group was having, right? And it reminded me, by the way, I love you guys in Discord. I'm just trying to speak my truth without it, and sugarcoating it can affect the message. Anyways, I found this is how corrupt leaders happen, right? Because first you're tied to the people, you're a man of the people. Then you go to your private cabinet and they're giving you misinformation and they're biased and they're leaning you away from the overall, overall will of the people. This happens in democracies and this happens in dictatorships because a dictatorship can still try to listen to the people. But if their circle is lying to them and giving them misinformation and you even have a corrupt dictator, that's a whole nother story. Anyways, so I polled it. And in the comment section, I get people saying, hey, man, it can't be funny if you don't listen to the election. Hey, it can't be funny if, you know, Witch of Mercury, y'all, you just do it anyways. <laughs> just do it anyways. <laughs> and I'm like, that's it. So what, what, what happens is people will shift their argument, right, to whatever fits their uh, agenda in that moment. So if you are losing, you, you, if, you, if you can't have your way, you say, hey, have an election. Let's vote. If you find that the election results are not going in your favor, forget the election. Do what you want to do. You're our guy. You like the same show. Because I wanted Gundam Witch of the Mercury to actually win. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's the show I wanted to win. I was most interested in it. But it's like, yeah, you're our guy. You're our representative. Whatever you do, it's going to be okay. Choose Gundam, man. Hey, you like it. Hey. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. I was like, that's how it happens. That is exactly how a democracy fumbles. Because in my humble opinion, generally speaking, if you run a poll to the community, it's as fair as can be. And you just have to accept that there's really no argument. Even if you think that the winning show is mid, trash, what have you, it was voted on. So like, what do you, like, if 60% if, if, if of the people choose it, right? And the show that you want only has 12%. What argument do you have to do this 12% show in the face of democracy saying, <sighs> I'm sure the majority want it, but F it. 
F the majority. Just, just do it. Just do it. There's no argument to be had. So I think it's funny. I'm not outraged about it. I'm just sharing the experience with you guys. Truly, truly, truly. Sometimes I do these videos and people take it the wrong way. It's just a screenshot of psychology and a screenshot of my experience. And there's also a screenshot of there's no satisfying people. Even in a democracy, the minority uh, 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 will complain because it's like, it, it's, I can feel you. It's kind of unfair. You know what I mean? I could imagine that I would prioritize laws that benefit uh, oceans, right? More than someone who lives in the central part of the United States. Why? I live in Florida. I actually think this argument won't work, but just hear me out. Hypothetically, if the majority of the U.S. population did not benefit from ocean life, they would push policies, hypothetically, that would pollute oceans. And my 20%, because let's just say only 20% of the population has access to the ocean, would be unrepresentative and unrepresented, and it's still not cool. It doesn't matter that the majority thinks this way. You guys are you, you guys are still wrong to pollute the ocean. You don't I don't have to make up the majority to believe that. You guys can still be wrong. But it is what it is. So I totally, totally, totally understand. Like I said, just a screenshot of psychology. I haven't even had my coffee yet, and I wanted to make this video because I was so so thrilled with reading uh different takes. So that's it. I saw my wife walk down in some shorts. And I got heavily distracted. Lost my thoughts. So I'm just going to end my video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm active on Instagram. I'm active on Twitter. You guys know where I be. It's all love. I listen to you guys. And that's why I make these videos. Later.